Tonight, the brothers of Timothy Hoffman, who died in a motorcycle memorial ride for Cynthia Hoffman earlier this month, are here tonight to talk about Timothy as well as Cynthia Hoffman's mother, who remains hospitalized after that memorial ride crash. Robert and Greg Hoffman, thank you so much for coming in tonight. Cynthia Hoffman was murdered in 2019 near Thunderbird Falls. And first of all, I wanted to say that we're so sorry for your loss and all the tragedy that you've gone through. Talk about your brother. What was he like? Uh, he was a really generous guy. You know, he dropped anything to be there for people. Uh, you know, he had a successful business here in Anchorage. He worked really hard, and he put a lot of people to work. And he'd even take people in because, you know, a lot of people have needs out there, and he was really helpful. He, uh, you know, had a motorcycle ministry going, the BLC Warriors, and, uh, uh, you know, we were on that ride for memorial ride for my niece to raise awareness for uh you know what happened what tragically happened to her and uh you know it wasn't going that fast so you know it, it just it was one of those tragic things and it was really sad and uh you know we're heartbroken he, lo he loves his wife barbara which is in the hospital with severe uh brain injury um she does respond to pain this week, she's made progress on opening her eyes to voices and sounds. Um, and we just all got hope that she is going to make a recovery. It's going to be a long recovery, but we support for her to come back to us and, and, and be here. How is the family doing through all of this tragedy that your family has gone through? Oh, it's been tough. It's been tough. Uh, I got my brother's patch right here. 250 was his rider name. Uh, you know, we're doing the one last send-off for him, you know, and we're going to ride him home tomorrow uh, at 74th and uh, Old Seward at the Cremation Society. Uh, get there by 12 noon. We're leaving at 1230. All riders are welcome, cars, whatever. And, uh, you know, we're going to ride him to home to have a nice memorial and a viewing and, and uh, remember him. And a potluck afterwards. Yeah. And, uh, what would your brother say if he were alive today? Uh, he would say that he, you know, wants to raise awareness for Cynthia and that he would support his daughters who don't want to give up on their mom. Amen. And, uh, you know, we were really super important to him. He was there for every court appearance, everything, because, you know, he wouldn't want this to happen to nobody else. And uh, so we want to make sure those guys get the highest sentence possible. Tim's last words was to take care of his wife, Barbara Hoffman. And we're going to see this through. And what would Cynthia say if she were alive today? Uh, she would miss She misses her sisters. Yes. She loves her family. Yes. She was such a sweet, innocent girl. And she was taken way too soon and way tragically. And those people don't ever need to be on the streets again. Amen. And is that procession tomorrow, is that open to the public? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Got it. We'll have more details on that for you tomorrow at 5 and 10 o'clock. And gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in tonight. And we're so extremely sorry for your losses here over the months and years. Thank you so much for coming in. And thank you, Joe. And shedding your time. Appreciate thank you, Joe. Thank you, Channel 2.